A plethora of day games here on Wednesday. Mark Zeno and I have two of them for you. Winners in a couple early winners for you. First five bets, as a matter of fact. And Mark, you are uh, talking about a team you know very well. The Atlanta Braves. They are in Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for? The good land. Yes. Uh, will it be the, who is it going to be the good land for here on Wednesday afternoon? Um, well, the good land is not <laughs> what happened yesterday to me or the Houston Astros. Um, I kind of had wished a lot of bad things on Bailey Falter yesterday. So I apologize to the clients who uh, purchased my package yesterday because Houston let us down. Uh, that's a pre uh, preamble of what may come because uh, yeah, they, they're not going to lose three in a row. Are they? Maybe they will. We'll find out. All right, let's get back to Atlanta and Milwaukee. Stay tuned. Uh, this is a game that when I looked at the board, sort of jumped off at me as saying, Chris Sale at this price feels advantageous. Like, I get that he's facing Freddie Peralta. I get that Milwaukee can hit lefties, and I get that they score a lot of runs at home. But when push comes to shove, like, don't you trust the Cy Young favorite at this point in time to do the job that he's supposed to do? I mean, he's 13-3 and three with a 2.680 array, a 0.92 whip. He's got 149 strikeouts on 117 innings. Like, all this stuff adds up to, like, the chances of you beating him are very, very slim. And not only that, uh, when he's on the mound, the Braves are 13-5. and five. He also gets 5.1 runs of support per start. Now, Freddie Peralta actually has a higher ERA at home than he does on the road. It's about 1.3 runs higher, so he hasn't been as sharp in – Mili Wake, so that has not been the good land for him. Um, and he's actually given up more home runs at home and a higher OBA, opposing opponent batting average against, um, than on, at home than he has on the road. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like two things here are happening for the Braves. Believe it or not, like maybe them along with the Yankees, their bats have started to wake up. It starts to feel that way. Um, that even if you go back to the Mets series, they scored four, four, nine, three, and then five. I mean, this is a team that was r- routinely scoring two and three uh, nonstop. So even at that, you can go back to, uh, you know, some of the games against St. Louis and Cincinnati. They scored five. They scored four four and a loss, a nine-four loss. I mean, I think the bats are starting to come around maybe, and we get a plus price, not a plus price, but like a very favorable price with Chris Sale for the Braves' money line. So um, let's back the Braves here. Also, really good bullpen for Atlanta. So if they do get a lead, you feel confident they can hold it. That's no slight on Milwaukee's bullpen, but Atlanta's the second-best bullpen ERA in baseball. Milwaukee's is third. So, But you're also talking about like 0.27 runs different between Atlanta and Milwaukee. So a lot there for me to like the Braves and Chris Sale at this price. Smash that like button if you're down with the Braves. Let's go from Zinno's current stomping grounds to his old stomping grounds with the Yankees taking on the Phillies. Don't look now, Mark, but the Yankees are in a position to sweep this series. The Phillies are trending in a negative direction. We've got a lefty versus lefty matchup uh, this afternoon. This is an early start time, by the way, guys, so get your bets in. Uh, Now, you look at a lefty versus lefty matchup. Before we get into the names, okay, naturally that seems to be an edge towards the Phils. They're fourth in WRC plus versus lefties this year while the Yankees are 13th. What lefty are the Yankees trotting out on this fine Wednesday afternoon? That would be your boy Nasty Nestor. Okay, now now don't get personal towards the man. I was just going to go over his numbers. He's not doing well of late. Okay, 7.43 ERA ERA is last night. ERA is his waistline, okay? That's the only thing bigger than I I would like to apologize to the Cortez family for Mark Zeno's biting remarks. Uh, Now, uh, okay, we're not going to apologize. Tokyo Brandon is going to apologize to him. Not being able to get guys out. That's what I'd like to apologize for a second for. Hey, guess what? Your family member can't get other people out. He sucks. He's as bad as my baseball record. Last week. Okay, well, well, not a, let's see if we can get that. Look, I need to do better with my half of double play, too, because the Twins, who are awesome against lefties, can't score against the Mets. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back to this game. Not only does Cortez have a 7.43 ERA his last five starts, the team has lost all of them, 0-5. Furthermore, on the road this season, this is why we didn't need to get personal with it, because the numbers are, are bad enough for Cortez. On the road, he's 0-5 with a 6.18 ERA this season. His numbers are okay at home, but they stink on the road. Conversely, 
Christopher Sanchez of the Phillies, you know, you know this. We've talked about this before, Mark. He is much better at home. 1.75 ERA, 0.97 whip. If the Phillies are avoiding the sweep, Mark, you say it all the time. If they're not winning early, they ain't going to be winning late. If they're not scoring early, they're not going to be scoring late. If the Phillies are avoiding the sweep today, it's going to be because of this starting pitching matchup. I like them in the first five to have a lead. They were winning uh, early yesterday. What was it? Four to one after two innings? And they couldn't yeah. hold on. I let, Let's leave the bullpens out of it. Phillies with the lead after five, thanks to the Sanchez versus Nasty Nestor matchup. Please comment down below with your favorite Major League Baseball bets for today. Oh, by the way, if you're watching the show and thinking yeah. to yourself, and I know you are, we want more Brian Power. We want more Mark Zinno. We want we more do. Brian Power and Mark Zinno together. I well, think guess so. What? You're in luck. Because at 11 a.m. Eastern, the two of us will be with Dan Alexander. It's, we do it every Wednesday, it seems. It's always oh. a very fun show. Steve Merrill last week said it, and he had the time of his life. So tune in at 11 a.m. Eastern. We have more baseball picks. Uh, we also I have our best bet you. coming up. I got to tell you, I mean, probably pretty biased, but this may be the best tandem at wager talk. You know, I mean, I'm just letting you know that now. I agree. I mean, Where's okay. my broom? Somebody picked the broom up. Uh, the broom is gone. Let's leave the flex. Where are my muscles? Okay. Okay. Well, the there flex. we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. You think you're stronger? I have than a much me. higher. Don't you? I know you're into. Run, I know you're into run differential. I have a much much higher trap differential than you do. You see? Yeah, I, 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 I'll be honest with you. I, I don't know. Uh, my clean and jerk is very. Never mind. Anyway, oh, okay. Man. There man. we go. Oh, oh, okay. sure. We will be here all week. Every Monday through Friday, we're here for you in the morning, giving out these free plays. I mentioned uh, show best bets coming up. We won our show best bet yesterday, Zeno, with the White Sox plus one and a half. Yeah. It's always an adventure with that bullpen. They almost blew it again, but they did I mean, cover plus the one and a half because they lost by one run. Everything else we did was ugly, and the ugliest play we made was the thing we got right. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, all right. Show best bet for today Houston Astros. Didn't think they, I would be saying this on Wednesday, but uh, they're trying to avoid a sweep at home against the I, Pittsburgh Pirates. I, I, big price, I gotta tell you. big price today. We think they're going to score runs. What do you have to tell me, Mark Zeno? I am very, I'm all ears. I mean, it's just one of the, you know, <laughs> I, it's the day after Paul Skeen's day, the Pirates are supposed to lose. It's Bailey flipping falter. I really want to say. It's a family it. program. Oh, is it really? Which, which except when I screw up. Except when I screw up the live read and you make Joe Ranieri work harder. That, that's when yes, it's not please. a family program. Yes, but it, never yeah, mind. You guys missed that part where Brian Power just dropped an F bomb in the middle of the show and it was edited out conveniently. Uh, anyway, Bailey <laughs> flipping Walter uh, goes five and a third, just you know, like two hits, one run. Like you got to be kidding me! It's just unreal. Today, the Pirates are starting. Jake Woodford, who is 0-2 with a 10.80 ERA and a 2.40 whip. Uh, he's given up two home runs in eight and a third innings. He's walked five batters and given up 15 hits to carry the two. Yes, that's correct. Um, so let's bank on two things here. One, the Houston Astros, who on the year average the fifth most runs at home of any team in Major League Baseball, that they will get back into the right spot. Uh, and then it, between Jake Woodford and the Pirates' sloppy bullpen, um, that even with only eight at-bats, that they should score at least five runs in this game. Uh, Framber Valdez is on the mound, and Framber is the color of your energy. But uh, I, I don't even care because it's unmanageable to bet this thing the way it is at minus 210 on the money line. Even the first five money line, you're still paying around a minus 170. It's just not – you know, minus 180, it's it's not a manageable price. So the way we look at this is keep the correlation there, which is what I tried to do last night, folks. I took Houston the first five, and I took their team total over as like a little bit of a hedge, figuring, look, I got more at-bats. They may put a tack on some runs late against the Pittsburgh bullpen. Well, no, Pittsburgh bullpen was lights out last night. Uh, so hopefully they are not lights out again. The Astros offense is lights out, as in putting the lights out. Like, you know, what's that guy's name in the natural? Roy uh, Hobbs, right? Where he hits the lights and they all explode. It's been BP, a while you, for me. I can't remember. No, I can't. I can't remember. I was thinking. I, I apologize. I can't. Yeah, oh, it was Roy Hobbs. That's right. Oh, he uses the one. Okay, he uses the wonder bat with the lightning bolt in it. Pick me out a winner, Bobby. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, little, 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 little. <laughs> Take care of little Bobby. Okay. And he hustles in there, the Wonder Bat. Anyway, we need Wonder Bats tonight from the Astros. Team total over four and a half, Houston. I like Woodford reserves at all. I don't like Jake Woodford. So the Houston Astros over their team total is your show best bet. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about that one. Uh, Have you subscribed yet to the Wager Talk YouTube channel? If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Everyone else is doing it. Let's go with the peer pressure route here on the show today. Why would you not subscribe? Again, you get those instant alerts. Uh, All this great content. Is that how it works? Can they I subscribe to the show? I, you know, I don't know. That's not my department. I just tell them to subscribe and hope they watch our show. And we thank you because I love seeing those number of views going up and up the last two days. We always appreciate your support. I know Mark feels the same way here on the Morning Wager. Football season is just a little <laughs> bit over 24 hours away. The Hall of I've Fame game so down I-77 for me. I've been so excited to bet on a game that I couldn't give a spit about. Uh, that's the NFL. Yeah. Because I can't do this baseball. Football on the way. I love a sloppy pilot. Yeah. Chances high. Patty hey, looks like Nesta Cortez's wife. Okay, now come on. That was totally out of line. <laughs> that was totally out of line. 11 a.m. Eastern, everybody. <laughs>